Shaker will stun and yeah. totem and uh, echo slam you. Maybe it's one of these BKB Desolator style games for, for yes. the Weaver instead. I think that's definitely going to be the call. Damage rune, and they're going to glimpse him back down again. Resolution with the slow. They lock him in. There's a three-man stun from FY. He does have a hex of Valve. We're going to throw in a resolution, but this will be the first blood. Spilled by Team Empire. At the same time, Einstein Science is also going to drop as Team Empire catching out the clockwork. Very so it's only negative three armor on Roshan. But it still looks like it's going to be enough to finish the job. Yeah, they've got the... Medallion of Courage up as well, and it doesn't look like Empire actually knows that this is going on in the middle. They're making an attempt on Ice Ice Ice. This should be the kill. And they commit the ult. He's still got seven one shots up his sleeve. Don't throw him out, but the fidget's also going to be there. FY couldn't make as much space, but it's so worth it. You've just got Nagus the Immortal on the back of the Shadow Fiend, and you lost no real town position. It's just another death for the clockwork. Yeah, but it looks like Empire want to get into this fight, knowing that Ice 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 is dead, but. Oh, they're gonna get the glimpse on Super. That's big. If they can control him long enough, the familiars are coming back in again. Super, low on life, and uh, there goes Juregas the Immortal. No Requiem in time, and also no protection. The mech's already been used. They lose the Messiah still now. Super, more control. A double stun, but he's down for the count. The Jarakum will take the kill with the call down and Black Cannon. Everything's turned on. And VG Gaming, well, I thought that Aegis might oh, have been how set, but... ...don't exist right now. They have the upper hand. They just have so much of an advantage in terms of how their items have progressed. You've got a 4k net worth lead on Empire, but more importantly than that, you have momentum, Toby. Yeah. And they just picked Dyer's up more of it. They just took the Ancients of VG attack. Gaming. 50 gold until the BKB is done. Oh, and it's oh, like Aloha, that's, he's actually soloing up the line. <laughs> of this the point. Glimmer Cave. <laughs> well, you can just walk right on top of him, it's fine. Yeah, and you can't actually die during that as well because the magic resistance is so high that the lion has almost no comeback potential to fight into that. But, oh man, <laughs> missing this one in the mid, but it's going to be Silent, who will eventually go down here. But you've just lost your Shadow Fiend for it. The Rubik was also a casualty of war, so it's a better wolf I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, decision making. Resolution. Actually locked in here with Ice Ice Ice. He's gone for the Ghost Ships, so Resolution can't keep attacking him. Now FY will move him. Starts with a Hex, they can keep this control going. The Familiars will also arrive, and Resolution... Well, Mech Charge won't keep him alive here. FY deeper inside the pit. He's not a healthy man, but they're going to be fine, but it's up on top lane, where Empire is now attacking into the Tier 3 tower. The Rocket will mop up a lot of the Crete Wave's life, actually not as much as I thought it would, and, uh, well... Nobody has a TP right now on Vici Gaming. Not really. There's actually one on the line, but it's Radiant's on cooldown, and the Clockwork doesn't have fallen. one, and so that's a free tower, and Resolution, I mean, that's absolutely worth it right now to be able to open up the high ground for the next push that's they're gonna coming They're going to try up. and fight this. Look, look for the pickoff. Clockwork still got his hookshot available. He jumps up on top of Sound for the four stop up. He was actually getting him away to safety, and now Ice 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 locked inside that disruptor only. The Super with the BKB winding up his own ultimate. Sound's already got his own BKB up, so he's in effect, unaffected by this. The Silent Super man mowing this up. There's no more help, or actually, there is from Yoki, and now in from Fenrir. They both end up exploding while Yoki, the familiar bringing him down, is a two on two situation until Silent comes back to the world of living. The Aegis Simona will help him out, but it's Hal who's the last man standing for the two. Damage will be done to the tier two. If yeah. not, it being brought down. And what are you going to get in return? Like, you might pop up and take out the range racks on top, but VG Gaming this time should be walking around with, yeah, a bunch of TPs. Actually, Super doesn't have a TP. Okay, yeah, so you already used it. already come back, so I'll take it back. Uh, while on bottom lane, TP's down. Weaver killing off the Rubik. Resolution wants to keep battling here. FY doesn't have a stun available and cannot blink. Mainly because he's still being attacked. Oh, and Ice Ice misses his ultimate. Top lane. Yep, that's where that beacon... That he's still able to get the cog down, which keeps Silent on the high ground. But once again, Super using this ultimate of his without, without hitting Silent. Because he has the BKB protection up. But he's on the run out here, still the Desolator effect, and Howe is right in his tail. The attack with a gem mate, dropping him solo, 100 down, he has to run north. Urshan gets killed off Clockwork in the meantime, back at the base, but I want to stick with this run for Howe. He's going to chase Silent all the way up into the trees. No more bugs, he turns left, Silent turns left, duking it down a little bit further. Okay, now we'll watch Aloha Dance kill off Fenrir, as the rest of the fight is going to be down there. And Fenrir, well, yep, Aloha Dance, all assumption, Fenrir, he's so low. The Urn Charge is ticking him down, and that's going to be the kill for the destroyer. The... Meanwhile, back in Texas, we got Silent TPing out. How's gonna find? Beachy are in position. They realize they have to fight <laughs> this one for their lives. <laughs> oh, How's running in? He's gonna pick up a regeneration rune, so at least got a mana for the fight. But he loses the double damage. Are they really gonna try and finish off Roshan before Empire can contest him? 
Oh, and this Hart is it in position. Pin, so they have no idea. <laughs> this egg is in cheese for some Ceviche Gaming. And I say Fires comes up with more of a con block right now as Silent on the wrong side of it. The Rocket Barrage still hitting very heavily into Ice Ice Ice. He will eventually drop in the call down doing his work. Super again with his ultimate. Yule Set will end up saving Yoki as he blue daggers up onto the high ground. Ow. Ow. He's going to go down. Never got the cheese off. Super will break the Aegis. And what looked like a fantastic steal is now going to be another horrible fight for VG Gaming after they take out Roshan. Super dying on one side, and you're going to bring back Fenrir to die again to the Disruptor. That's two in a row, Blitz. That's two in a row. I mean, him having an Ags right now on top of his Glimmer Cape just completely won them the fight. The ultimate was placed almost perfectly, and even with the Aegis and the Cheese advantage, they're nowhere near in fighting condition just because I feel like the Shadow Fiend just doesn't put out enough damage. Silent just man fights him, the SF ultimate isn't getting any leverage, and Ice 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 just doesn't have really the farm to back up his aggressive moves right now. And because of that, they're gonna get double racks. And no real way to defend Radiance it. There's still a 30-second window spawn. here. As far as the buybacks being available, Radiance only Weaver has it. Radiance and that's not going to help Anthony. The only upside for him is the fact that Tier 2 Tower is still alive on bottom lane. Pushing down this bottom lane right now, and... I mean, I don't know how Vici are going to actually defend this, because they're just so far behind in terms of actual net worth. Especially after that last fight. Like jump up, there's just done into the, into the finger of death. It's gonna go on Silent, but he's still alive and fighting Ice 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 again with these pulse, but Silent's BKB protects him. The Weevil will finally end the disrupt this spinning streak and survive through this, and he'll move back over. They're looking for Silent, and this is where the damage can come in. How the Echo Slam controlling up Super, there is the damage from Yoki to find that kill, but how is still battling up against him, and he's not having to worry about the excess damage coming in from the Gyrocopter. And jump up from FY, he was looking for the stun. Lost the man though with a cog burn. You know, the Dyer don't have any. Okay, now they have vision because the creep wave's pushing in, and this will force some kind of reaction from VG Gaming. The top lane's pushed in a long way, so if they decide to fight up against Empire right now, they'll probably end up losing one of the tier 4 towers. Ice 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 is bringing the creep wave down, so he's still got himself a jump in. Nice PK gives you some avoids the fish. Oh, super. Up from FY, they just jump in. Super pops instantly. The cooldown's there, and how? Not enough damage just yet. He's gonna have to time lapse himself away as he is chasing after a low hard dance. The committal is so high to kill off the support. Now Yogi as well. How's the primary kill here? And he's gonna go down. No buyback available for this Weaver. He's short by 600 gold. Old. Super has already bought back into this. He's got a homing missile chasing him. They can't get rid of it in time. The familiar drop down will buy him that extra space as they glimmer him up. He does have the cheese available so he can turn back into this fight if he wants to. And there it is. The BKB's also been triggered. Winding up the ultimate, thinking about it. There's the razors. There's number one. There's number two. Dropping silence down. The jumping close run is Yoki back into the middle of the fight. That's a double kill for Resolution. And probably, and yes, it is most definitely, GG is the call. Empire will take game number one and a two-game lead Radiance over VG Gaming here in the Grand Final. Man, I'm just stunned right now. Again, it's not even how... It's not the fact that they're winning, it's how they're winning. They're dominant in every single lane. Their rotations are so on point, doubling the kill score of VG Gaming. Uh,